All right, friends, Buster and I are back. Here he is, running amok. Hey, Buster, speak. 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 <laughs> Buster, speak. <laughs> he's, he's a little camera shy right now. So we're gonna finish our scavenger hunt for today. Okay, let's see, are there any in here? Hmm, nope. I don't see any in here. Hmm, where else could they be? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, was that one on the tree? Holy cannoli. Oh, this one says 12 plus 64. All right, friends, I'm gonna show you a different way to solve the problems today. So yesterday we solved the problem by drawing pictures, but today we're going to do it this way. And this is called the standard algorithm. It's a really fancy word, but it actually might make it a little bit easier for you. So when we're adding this way, we have to make sure that we are always stacking our place values. So our ones places should always stand on each other's shoulders and our tens places should always stack right on top of each other too. Now, whenever we're adding like this, we should always, always, always start with the ones place. So we're going to cover up the tens place right now. And let's look at the ones place. We have two plus four. How much is two plus four? Put four in your head and count two more. Four, five, six. Good. So, so far we have six in our ones place. But we're not done just yet because we still need to add the tens together. So now I have one ten plus six tens. How much is one ten plus six tens? Good, that's seven tens. So for that answer, we got 76. Let's see if we can find another piece to our scavenger hunt. Oh, is that one in this picnic table? gather gather oh, thank goodness okay this one is 18 plus 50 we have 18 plus 50 this time I made sure I did the first most important thing and I stacked my ones places on top of each other and then I stacked my tens places on top of each other which place value do we always start by adding first the tens or the ones We always start by adding the ones place first. So let's just look at the ones place. What is eight plus zero? Good, that's just eight. If we have eight things and we're adding zero more, that just means we're not adding anything else. So it just stays eight. Now we have one ten plus five tens. How much is one ten plus five tens? Good, that's six tens. And our answer for this one is 68. Should be a couple more clues here. Hmm, wonder where they could be. <gasps> There's one in the snail. Oh my goodness. 36 plus 43. Okay. The next problem for today is 36 plus 43. Ooh. So I stacked my ones places, I stacked my tens places, and now I'm gonna start by adding which place value? The ones place. So let's look at the ones places. We have six plus three. How much is six plus three? If you're a little bit stuck, put six in your head because it's a bigger number and count three more. Six, seven, eight, nine. Good, so six plus three equals nine. Well, we're not done just yet because we still need to add our tens. How much is three tens plus four tens? Four, five, six, seven. That's seven tens. Okay, 
Hmm. I wonder if there are any more out here. Let's see. Oh my! Ugh. Okay, here's the last one. 72 plus 25. Okay, for this problem we have 72 plus 25. I already got started like a good mathematician by stacking my ones place and stacking my tens place. Now, to continue being a good mathematician, I'm gonna start by adding the ones place. So let's look at the ones place. What is two plus five? You need some help put five in your brain and add two more five six seven we're not done just yet though we still need to add our tens place how much is seven tens plus two tens seven eight nine tens so our answer for this one is 97 all right, friends, that's it from Buster and I. Thanks for joining us to finish our scavenger hunt today. Buster, can you say thank you? Can you say thank you? <laughs> I don't want your kisses right now. All right, bye, friends. Have a good day. Sister, speak. Speak. Good boy.